I love doing events here at, at the uh, the Seminole Hard Rock. Um, I consider these guys Leon and the War Warriors Boxing people my partners. We've done a lot of a lot of stuff together, and it's always a pleasure. This is I think the best boxing venue on the East Coast of the United States. And I'm not kidding. I think it's a beautiful room for it and a great property. And, and Leon, thank you. And thank everybody at the Hard Rock for your hospitality. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Kerm, say a few words, man. This is your night, bro. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Um, uh, Lou DiBella, um, Jerry Shaw, and uh, Angolo's team for giving me this opportunity. Um, it was a, you know an opportunity that I couldn't pass. Um, I knew that taking this fight, it was going to be a hard fight for me and a hard fight for Angulo. And, you know, I had eight weeks of um, a hell in training camp. Uh, I want to thank Brian, Ronnie, and uh, Creed, and Josh for freaking sending me down down to hell. Um, <laughs> but uh, now it, was a, it was a great, great camp for me. And um, I left camp, um, you know, 110% ready for this fight. Uh, they did a hell of a job. Um, I mean, you know, I think I, that I proved myself that I can uh, be one of the top fighters uh, in any of uh, the 147 or 154 division. And, um, you know, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my team. Um, and, uh, I mean, what else can I say? I mean, I, you know, I showed it and left, left it all in the, in the ring. Like, I promised myself that I was going to do. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm just happy. I'm happy for tonight. I'm happy with my performance. And now I'm just going to go home, uh, enjoy the time with my family, my kids, and uh, and see what happens next. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I feel bad because I always leave him out. And that's Alvis Grant for, you know, he's, he's the one that's been helping me with, uh, with uh, saving my hands. Um, you know, he's been... Uh, trying to make a uh, pair of boxing gloves for me, especially for me, to um, you know, so I can like save my hands for my career, so I can continue my career. And he finally put it together, um, and his his gloves are the gloves for fighters to wear. Um, sorry, Everlast. Sorry, Ringside. I mean, Reyes. Reyes. Um, Grant is the glove to go with. I mean, they, they save your hands, and, you know, I want to thank Elvis Grant for that. Thank you. I mean, you know, it, the past is the past. Um, you know, all I can really say is that I'm just looking forward to the future, um, and that started with uh, this fight that I just had. Um, and so, Margarito... I don't give a shit about Margarita right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> I just want to, you know, I just want to just continue with my career and uh, look forward, to, and I'm looking forward to the future, and, I, and I'm sure my team and my family is as well. I, I just want to say one thing on that question. Um, I think he has the right attitude that he has to have. It's in the past. What happened, happened. But Tony Margarito cheated. He's a yes. cheater, and he cheated in a way that can hurt, seriously harm the health of, of guys he should have total respect for his opponents, fellow fighters. So, shame on him. Real quick, because we just we get asked this question all the time. There's no way to go back into the past and to find out whether or not he loaded up his gloves for for those two fights. So, what's the point, really? You know, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. And it's always going to be an open-ended question. Kudos to Nazim Richardson for catching it. You know, because it, it was a white substance that blended it, frankly, into the wraps. And, you know, he might have been using it, and people... You know, very capable people, former trainers or people that have watched him wrap his hands might not have caught it. So kudos to Nazim Richardson for catching us. Any more questions before we move on? Got one question. With the win tonight, does it make more sense to go for that rematch with Martinez or to reposition Kermit back at 47? I'll answer that question. I'm in a bit of, I mean, I'm a little bit of work as a situation because I promote both guys, but I'll say this. It's not necessarily the case that that rematch is going to happen. We're going to look at all options, and at this stage of Kerm's career, we're going to go for, for the biggest opportunity, and if there's a bigger opportunity than Sergio, then I'm going to put Kermit in that fight. Any other questions? Uh, Kermit, I've noticed that you, you've always been an excellent uh, body upper body shifter. I think you've, uh, mixed, you've displayed that throughout your career. I noticed, I mean, here you were so much, um, so much better with your feet. 
I mean, what was it about your training that really got you prepared for, for Angulo? Well, Ryan um, just had me uh, doing yeah. the thing over and over again. You know, every didn't matter if it was shadow boxing, um, didn't matter if it was um, doing it in the pads, didn't matter if it was in sparring. He made sure you know that I was boxing my ass off in the in the in the, in the, in the gym, and uh, you know, and it showed today. Um, there's still a, little, uh, a couple things that I still got to work on, but uh, you know, little by little, it's coming along. <coughs> You've heard everybody else say, you know, Lou said it, Gary said it. <clears throat> this was the best they've seen. Is this the best you've ever felt in a ring? I can honestly say that it's it's the best, but there's there's more to come. Uh, Ronnie, it's you know you know it's, it's changing me as a fighter, and uh, you know and and, and it started uh, tonight. It's, it started, and you saw uh, what I can do, and I know there's more uh, that I can do in the ring. From your conditioning tonight, I felt looked uh, better than I've ever seen with any of your previous fights. Uh, any comments on that? Thanks to Brian. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, I, I felt I felt great. Um, 11th and, and 12th round, I started uh, getting a little stiff. Um, I saw I started bending out down a little bit, but uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's something that it can be worked on. And uh, I know for the next fight, um, I think we're gonna. Pull it all together, finally. Thanks, Carm. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Fighters <laughs> 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 with the Bella Entertainment if they want the biggest fight.